uh, provide an empty string for all of our structured variables so it will take all those user inputs or it will take all those raw materials and it will process them and in this case uh, what we mean what I mean by processing is that it will set all those values inside this variable that is stored inside the structure and it is uh, it will work as an attribute so it will process that value I mean it will uh, set that value to this uh, and it will set that value instead of uh, keeping this empty string uh, to our variable then when the processing is done when the factory or this constructor method is done with all of its processing it will then produce or package everything for the output so what I mean by pro uh, packaging or producing the output or the finished product is that it will process everything it will check that it has correctly set all the value behind the scenes the compiler will actually check whether it has done everything correctly and there are no issues I mean there are not there are no more bugs then this return method packages everything or it packages the attributes the structure uh, the variables inside the structures it packages them it then packages those variables inside the attributes that we created this is also a, a sort of a structure so this uh, it packages or uh, everything and and then it returns them as an output so you can think of it like this uh, keyword is referring to the attributes that we already created or that we already uh, packaged up for our output now the return is taking all this packaged products so um, this keyword is the packaged product this is the box that contains all the finished products stored inside it taped up uh, for, uh, for for uh, for for selling now we are not actually selling anything in here it's just the analogy it's uh, just the example so this keyword main is referring to the attributes now the attributes structure which also act, acts as a uh, structure it has another structure stored inside the uh, inside itself which is called users so after it has got the finished product it's now returning that finished product as an output for the uh, functions that we'll be creating i mean i mean for returning for our browser being sorry for that it returns everything it first processes all the variables the name age and row it packages them as finished product and it returns the output for the selling uh, when we talk about a factory but in this case it returns the output for our browser wing or for anything that we want to do or we want to manipulate using our template file now let's move on to creating the getter and the setter methods now the getter method um, let's first create this get name you can create all these methods and the attributes in a different way in a, in the traditional uh, CFML way with, uh, you can use um, tags like CF function you can uh, use tags like CF return but I'll be showing you that I'll be showing you an example of that after I complete creating all of this after I instantiate the object and I show you how to instantiate that and how to create the object out of this plan or out of this component now the get getter method is going to uh, return it's going it's it's going to return the encapsulated variable for processing now uh, it's not, I mean it's going to t take in the user input so inside a factory let's go back to our example inside the factory your factory will obviously want uh, raw materials to uh, produce clothing materials so when it requires uh, the raw materials obviously 
uh, the raw material when it reaches the factory it needs to be processed the first thing it needs to do is obviously to acquire all those raw materials uh, suppose it might have to uh, get them from uh, a different country it might need to import them uh, so in that case our get name is uh, get this getter method or which we named as get name will take the user input from our user or from our visitor on our site and it will take that as a raw material for uh, for processing so inside the factory the raw material is first taken then it's processed so this getter method is ex uh, exactly acting in a similar fashion like it's getting all those user input but in in this case to make it simple i'm just going to get the name from the user so it's going to get the name from the user for future processing now why am i using uh, some sort of, of method that's known as getter as the name suggests it's getting the name now why is it that I'm using this uh, method it's creating as I've already told you it's creating an encapsulated variable so let's see what that encapsulated variable will look like again in here we're going to use the uh, return keyword along with the attributes and then we're going to pass in users structure and obviously we're going to return the name from that user structure now let's finish off this statement and it's really simple to create let me also finish off by creating the setter method and I'll explain everything together so the setter method in this case will take up uh, it will take up a name argument so in some cases you might hear about the word parameter and argument side by side but in cold fusion we only refer to it as an argument now let's um, let's create this uh, uh, let's provide something like um, so we need to retrieve the uh, variable from our structure in here and again uh, so we retrieve that now we need to uh, we need to take the user input and in here we are processing the data so when the raw materials are taken in by the factory suppose the raw material is the cotton you can't use a raw cotton to create your clothing materials you need to process that into a thread and some other things which I'm, I'm not really familiar with all those but just uh, keep in mind that we need threads we need maybe all, all those fibers maybe they call it fibers we need those uh, processed materials to create clothes like shirts t-shirts uh, jeans maybe so uh, jeans does not use cotton it might be shirt and t-shirt yeah right so what we need to do in here is to we need the arguments and we're going to set that argument to our um, we, we are going to set the user input to our name variable that is stored inside the user structure so what I'm doing in here um, yeah so what I'm doing in here the first thing is that I'm taking the user input I'm taking in the raw material for my production I'm taking in the raw material and I'm sending it to the processing unit to process those cottons into threads now this getter name method gets the name from the user it takes the name from the user input and it returns uh, it returns that same name to our processing unit which is known as the setter method and in here we name that setter method as a set name now why am I using this uh, encapsulated variables what we mean by encapsulated variables is that you see that this variables this uh, this attributes 
is actually also a variable but this is a different sort of attribute or a different sort of variable this is a structure nonetheless it's also an attribute you can also call it a variable but what it is doing it's actually being um, protected by a method it's being protected by a boundary so if somehow a malicious coder comes into your website and he wants to retrieve all the value from your scripts he wants to uh, temper with your codes he can't exactly do that if we encapsulate them or in, a, uh, in other word we protect them by providing a boundary now the boundary is being provided by this getter name method we could have uh, directly uh, rather than setting up an empty string we could have directly called in uh, we could have called uh, we could have returned the va uh, the value from our user input inside our constructor method but we are not doing that we won't do that because we want to keep them separated we want to keep our processing our um, our input separated so that we clearly understand that we are protecting them inside uh, by providing an encapsulation environment or provide providing a protected or uh, protected environment inside the boundary you can think of this curly braces as being the boundary for uh, a boundary wall for this attribute now we take the value and we immediately return the value from the user input so um, so you might be thinking why is this uh, we are why is the why we are why are why are we returning uh, the why are we returning all the attribute that we created earlier but it and it holds an empty string so yeah that is sort of uh that is sort of a question that i need to answer that's a that's a good sort of question now what in what am i what am i doing in here is that 